couple of weeks ago, I came up with this little trick with uh, HVE tip and two saliva ejectors. Basically, what I just did is just take the two saliva ejectors and just jam it into the HVE tip. It takes a little practice to kind of get in there. It's pretty tight, but it'll slide in there. It's down to about here. Um, you know, that's long enough to um, keep this pretty stiff. Because what I use it for is two things. One, I've been using it basically to retract the tongue while I'm power scaling. So you get a lot of suction power from the HVE tip, you know, spread spread out uh, through the two saliva ejectors. So you don't get much uh, tissue suck. The other thing that's good for that I find is um, if you spread out the two saliva ejectors like this, and you just, you know, place it around the lower quadrant to provide you uh, isolation. So it you know, retracts the tongue pretty well, kind of keeps it away, and it has a lot of suction power around the tooth, or two teeth actually, if you want. And I'll show you a, a clip of that in a second, so you can see how it works. I also like to cut the HV, uh, HVE tip down a little bit too, just to keep this a little bit shorter. It's a lot easier to handle in the HVE valve and whatnot. Um, and then when I'm using it for the retraction uh, function, I like to curve it a little bit. You just got you know better room, just it's a lot easier to deal with too. So there you go. So I mean it's basically 15 cents with parts you already have around the office. And you're gonna get excellent retraction and suction. And you're gonna get pretty pretty damn good uh, lower quadrant isolation. So if you guys have any questions, uh, just drop a comment and I'll answer as quick as I can. Thank you.